Hi everyone, I'm Kuno Kim. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Cincinnati. This talk is about our recent findings about environmental quenching effects in high redshift galaxy clusters from redshift 0.3 to redshift 1.1. Notably, we use an advanced kinematic measure for environmental effects and thus provide a clearer view into quenching process in galaxy cluster environments. A brief background is that in the local universe, galaxy clusters are known to suppress, quench the star formation of member galaxies through various environmental processes such as gas stripping, ramp pressure, and strangulation. However, at high redshift, the peak this environmental driven quenching process is not clear yet. While the cluster centric radius, which is shown in the orange, the distance from the cluster center to the galaxy of interest, this cluster centric radius shows some hint at the quenching process towards the cluster center. This parameter alone does not tell us about the whole story. We update this environmental quenching process in high redshift galaxy clusters by using the phase cluster phase space diagram. The diagram is the has the two axes. One is cluster centric radius, and the other axis is the peculiar velocity motion of cluster galaxies, which can be obtained from spectroscopy observations. By using these two in parameters, we can trace the, in, the orbital motion of infalling cluster galaxies from initial infall all the way through the passage of the perifener, backsplashed, and virialized. If we observe these orbital trajectories of cluster infalling galaxies through a telescope, we obtain the 2D projected phase space diagram. Here, the orbital trajectory of infalling galaxies are drawn as the blue zigzagging uh, curves. And thus, we can use the location of galaxies in this phase space diagram to infer their, the galaxies, galaxies mean infall time. For example, the galaxies located around the number one here should spend less time than those around the number four. This mapping of the galaxies location in the phase space to their mean infall time is well motivated by the cluster simulations. In the simulations, galaxy clusters can be traced by their specific infall redshift. On the left, the infall redshift of galaxies are color coded. And clearly, the galaxies that infold earlier in red show a distinct location in the phase space compared to those recently accreted in blue galaxy populations. This picture is also consistent by another cluster simulations where the ancient early info galaxies are populated mainly in the innermost part of the phase space diagram, whereas the first info, recent info populations are distributed at this different location along the larger cluster century radius. For that, we selected one of the largest galaxy cluster samples at high redshift over a wide range of redshift from 0.26 to 1.1. We obtained these sample clusters from the SPT and ACT cluster surveys. The black dots are our sample clusters with their mass distribution along the y-axis. And from the optical photometric follow-ups, we are able to obtain the individual 
galaxies I-band luminosity, for which we use that uh, as a proxy for stellar mass. Also, from the spectroscopy follow-up, we are able to measure the accurate cluster membership and the peculiar motion of infalling galaxies, and as well as the age-sensitive 4,000 break index strength. This is the phase space diagram of our sample cluster galaxies. In particular, we divide galaxies into three specific info time groups following the specific uh, area criterion in the phase space. For example, early info galaxies are located in this red innermost trumpet shaped regions and the intermediate info galaxies in the orange and the recently accreted galaxies in the blue region. And this trumpet shaped separation criteria to classify galaxies into as a function of their info time, this overall shape closely resembles the zigzagging orbital trajectories of infolding galaxies. This is the key result of our analysis. We've, if the x-axis is the info time we derived from the phase space, and the y-axis is the galaxy's age-sensitive 4,000 break. And what we found is a significant increase of 4,000 break of galaxies with their info time. The red color is the early info galaxies, the orange intermediate, the blue recent info galaxies. And each color diamonds indicate the mean 4,000 strengths of each info zone. And the black poly line is a fit relation of between the 4,000 strengths and the info time. We see a clear increase of galaxies age along with this info time. This would suggest that the galaxies that spend longer time, excuse me, the, the galaxies that spend longer time in cluster environments tend to be older compared to those spend less time in cluster environments. And this would suggest that galaxies become environmentally quenched as they are exposed longer time in cluster environments, such as the gas stripping ram pressure and strangulation. And the 4,000 increase corresponds to about 0.7 giga year older mean age of early info galaxies compared to those recent info populations. We checked that this environmentally driven, uh, this info time driven environmental quenching effect in cluster environments is shown regardless of, regardless of galaxies redshift. This, we see the consistent increasing 4,000 strengths with info time in low redshift subsamples as well as the high redshift subsamples. And this 4,000 increase, uh, the age increase of cluster galaxies with their time since info is consistent with the fraction of quiescent galaxies that shows an increase with info time. Here, there is a gradual increase in the quiescent fractions with info time such that the galaxies that spend longer time in cluster environments tend to have higher fraction of quiescent galaxies. This trend is seen at all redshift and in the, on the left and the low redshift in the middle and the high redshift in the right. That would suggest that galaxies become environmentally quenched as they spend longer time in cluster environments. And this figure shows that our galaxies experience the quenching 
regardless of galaxy's luminosity, i.e. the stellar mass. The axis is, x -axis is, x -axis is the galaxy luminosity and the y-axis is the galaxy input time. And the color indicates the mean 4,000 strength at a particular grade of luminosity and input time. Thus, at a given luminosity, galaxies become older as they spend longer time in cluster environments along with the y-axis. This would suggest that regardless of galaxies' luminosity, galaxies' experience become quenched as they spend longer time in cluster environments. Here is the summary. We updated the environmental process in high redshift galaxy clusters by adopting a kinematically derived cluster mean input time over a wide range of redshift. This is, this is the first such analysis covering a wide, huge span in cosmic time. And a key result is that we found a gradual age increase of galaxies from recent to early infall populations. This would suggest that galaxies become environmentally quenched as they spend longer time in galaxy cluster environments, likely due to a longer exposure to processes such as the gas stripping, ram pressure, and strangulation. Thus, a key takeaway message of our analysis is that galaxies experience a gradual decline of star formation after they fall into cluster environments, and we check these trends up to redshift one. The results have been submitted to FJ and also posted on archive. If you are interested in our research, I would be happy to chat with you. So please reach out to me. This is the email and my research website. Thank you for watching.